Welcome to Best Car Fixes. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. Today we have a Hammer 2008. Our problem is that the speed emitter doesn't change. The mileage does not change. This is the car, as you see here. And the customer said, what I get into the car, he fixed the leak already. And the, the body control module is behind the cluster here around this area here uh, where I get into it he cannot program the door lock unlock and all this stuff he put a new uh, body control module from the dealer after he finished program it the mileage here never change you see everything is work signal work left right everything is working but the people program the the body control module using uh, AC Delco this is before it changed to uh, TechLine Connect TLC. And after that, it doesn't change, it doesn't work. So he said, Muhammad, can you please come and check? They say that you need a Tech 2 to do it. Maybe they have J2534 and J2534 only to download a software, but there are some stuff that you need to do after you put a new body control module. So I came in and I take my Tech 2. This Tech 2 is one of the first uh, GM uh, tool, even Saab, GM and Azuzu, even Suzuki. You can get the same tools with the sign here GM or Azizu or um, Suzuki and so. The only thing that it changed, it changed the the cart inside here so you can you can took the, you can take this cart out you see the slot here and you can put um, um, Suzuki cart sub cart but they all work whether you, you can have this is as a sub one and you put the GM card it will work It's the same tech two they have this one as a tech two they have tech one also tech two and after tech two this Tech 2 is work up to 2013. After 2013, they go to GDS, Global Diagnostic System, and that were laptop-based system. You can subscribe and have it, but every, every month you have to download it into your laptop. There are some stuff that you can do with Tech 2. Other tools will not be able to do it. This Tech 2 is still it work as pass through device and stand alone program like you're gonna connect it has earsnet connector here you connect it to the, your laptop the all the tests you download the software and also for sub it have a different different um, way of working after tech 2 is working for about from 1998 from the older scars all the way to 2008 and 9 when the can can system come in to the car to those new cars they say okay do we have to get rid of the tech tool and we have to to get to make another tool they say no they go and add um, the uh, another connector which is they call it can system you see candy they call it candy for the community can uh, for the can network this one here they disconnect the obd2 if you see here they took it out and they bring this piece here in between because the obd2 was connected there they took it out the connector and they put this in the middle so that you can work on the newer cars okay now it's work on those cars so what you need to do now i believe they didn't do after they programmed the tech to um, the body control module of the car they supposed to do one thing which means as body control module setup how you gonna do that you're gonna come here and go to diagnose and go down to uh, diagnose and then shoot the car this one here only to one 2013 and down because new car come with a new technology all technology will not work in it so this car is 2008 you cannot but this one is still also you can if you have this 2000 you still you can program cars with them but you only get all the software if there's any update to fix some cars you will not we are now in the present of technology where cars could be 
program it by satellite and all this so now here is passenger car click uh, this is uh, mpv complete so you go down to hammer click hammer and this h3 it is 5gt or adm i'm not sure but i'm going to choose one now i'm going to scroll down to body control module up level radio yeah because no navigation system i will say okay and then continue click here to go continue this car was driven about <coughs> how many mile still the mile is there because the bcm is not configured so you're gonna go down either in the body control module also you have to go to sometime from the airbag also to configure the airbag to the bcm or from the body control module here you click ok you have two things to set up the you go down to bcm setup first you see the id information this is a module id information which here is a part number which everything is good they built it in 2001 calibration id if it already has calibration you see everything is good suffix one two three four five up to ten those are the part or the software that is there inside you see i will go out and those are the button like a cell phone so i'm gonna go out here and i will come to module setup here you go down to setup sdm serial number in the bcm you must set up that one so you're gonna come here he will ask you you're gonna click ok and now it's set up a new module you click on it it blinking complete so you're gonna click exit the soft button here go back it see if there is any diagnosis trouble code DTC present maybe for the tire pressure it's let me view it's a low tire pressure system sensor not learn that means those sensors are not learned yet it to learn it it may need uh, it may need I'm gonna try to clear it clear the DTC click yes you see in progress you see the tire pressure here but I'm sure it will not go away because of um, the sensor is not learned yet. That is a different story. You see, it's still there. I'm going to go back. And here is still the sensor, low tire pressure system. Sensor not learned. So it need, those sensor need to be learned. I'm going to go back. The, the next step to do is to see if we will be able to also I, uh, if you did an airbag if you change the airbag control module you see this is a, this is the airbag or if you change the bcm also you need to go back and go to module setup and you're going to see setup new sdm setup sdm part number if the new sdm the airbag is already set up it will tell you by clicking enter if it's already set up you say it's already set up complete also don't forget to go back and do the set up sdm part number in the bcm because the bcm is new you have to register the airbag into it then click setup in this corner here and then it will set up this one also for you that's good then click exit now what you're gonna do is very simple we have here the mileage is 83 um, we're gonna drive a little bit and see if it's gonna change or not I'm not gonna hold this phone with me but um, you see here it's 83 if it change will good or you can go to the small one okay the trip one shifts here 1899 right I'm gonna put my seat belt and uh, drive a little bit I'm holding 
this one here. I am driving now. 1899. This is a uh, uh, street here now. I'm gonna go front a little bit. Let me know, okay? I need it to be 1900. Okay, so we're good now. You see the trip change. So now what's gonna happen? I'm gonna see 93. Does it change or not? Okay, let me change it to uh, to mileage. You see 97. Change that means something wrong somewhere. Look at it in a few. This traffic light is not turning yet. Okay. I'm gonna turn right here. We'll keep driving. stop 97 okay you see now from 97 it changed to 98 which is not bad thank you for watching best car fixes please subscribe share and like and see you in another video this is Muhammad Harun Idris thank you